Oh my goodness. And there it is. Wow, get the picture to go. Hello again, everybody, and welcome back to Bowl TV for the stepladder finals of the PWBA Dallas of Fort Worth Regional. My name is Aaron Smith with Bowl TV, and we are excited to be bringing you the stepladder final. Four rookies on tour this season have advanced from a field of 33 players over the course of eight games on a 39-foot condition. Uh, so it's going to be an exciting show to showcase the youth movement on the PWBA tour. Uh, our opening matchup is going to feature Maria Bolanova taking on Kara Mangiola. Both of them had uh, pretty spectacular finishes to get into or to secure their spots here in the stepladder finals in the two spot uh, waiting in the semifinals for the winner of that matchup, Fania Kobo. And then the top overall seed put on a show, Taylor Bailey, going to be looking for her first career PWBA regional title. Uh, as the players get ready for warm up from the lanes, we're going to bring in our guest commentator joining us. She's a two time reigning PWBA player of the year, Shannon O'Keefe. Hey, guys. Shannon, hello. Thanks for joining us. Uh, it's been an exciting day of competition so far. And, uh, you know, this 39-foot condition uh, offered some challenges early on. But uh, as it kind of moved down the stretch, we saw the scoring pace pick up. What do you think is going to be happening here uh, in the finals? I think we're going to see the same thing. I think early on you may see um, maybe a little lower scoring until the, you know, the track wants to start opening up where the girls are going to play the most. Um, that's what I see. That I think 39 feet in this building can be really tricky because it makes you want to go left to right. But if you get it going too far right, too quick, it's not going to see it. Um, and you can go light a lot. So I, I would I would think that we may see some lower scorings to start and then the scores increase as, as it goes on. All right. We are uh, going to go ahead and add the lanes as well. So 9 and 10 at the ITRC. Our players getting their official uh, warm-up prior to the start of competition. And this opening matchup, uh, as we mentioned, all players are all rookies on, on tour this season. Uh, Maria Bolanova taking on Kara Mangiola. Uh, for both of those players, you know, some disappointment uh, from the earlier events in the week, but they're bouncing back here with a strong showing. Uh, so an opportunity to uh, get that first stepladder finals experience underneath their belt. Uh, how exciting and how crazy is it? that first time you make a stepladder final. Uh, what, what's kind of going through their heads right now, you think? Well, I, I'm sure they're extremely excited just to be here. Um, you know, a lot of them are very experienced. You know, three of them had really strong college careers. I don't know much about Kara's background and if she bowled in college or not, but the other three were very successful collegiate bowlers. And so I don't feel that this is like a new environment for them. Now it is the PWBA tour and it is the stepladder final, so there may be a little bit of extra excitement in there. Um, but you know, with the opening match, Maria against Kara, it, they're two completely different styles. Maria, um, her rev rate is quite high, which a lot of times forces her feet a little bit further left than other people to create bigger shapes. And Kara's a little more straight, you know, she plays a little straighter. Um, so it'll be interesting to see the difference in how they attack these oil patterns. All right. Fania Kobo is going to be awaiting in the semifinals. And, uh, you know, talking about the rev rate, Fania is going to be uh, playing them a little bit straighter as well. So uh, we've got a good mix of that. Uh, but but as you said, a, a very talented player. She's been out on tour all season, uh, kind of getting that firsthand experience. And uh, she she bowled well and she did what she needed to do at the very end to secure that spot, that number two seat. Yeah, she bowled great. Um, Maria bowled 250 her last game um, to get into the final. So, um and Kara and Taylor were pretty solid throughout the entire day. So um, it's pretty awesome to see young players, you know, step up and throw some big games when they need it. Uh, it's pretty fun to watch. And then finally, Taylor Bailey at the top of the ladder here. Uh, and you know her quite well from her time at McKendree <laughs> University, where you uh, just so, so happened to coach her uh, to an NCAA national title, among many other things. But uh, I'm sure you had the opportunity to talk to her right before all this kind of got going what was your message to her uh before you came to join us here in the booth listen to brian <laughs> <laughs> brian has coached me through all of these moments in the past and uh you know 
he, he he pulls you into that workman type mentality. So he doesn't lo- really let your thoughts get too wrapped up in the emotions of, oh my gosh, this is the first show. You know, he's really good at managing those emotions and really keeping you focused on the task at hand. And so I was like, just listen to Brian one shot at a time and you'll be great. Just have fun. So. So, so you got the birthday boy working on his birthday. I like it. Yeah. And this is also her dad's birthday. So it's that? it's pretty incredible day for her. So that's very, fun. Very cool. We got to meet her dad at uh, Junior Gold this year. So that was uh, that was fun as well. Yes. Jeff is famous. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, all right, folks, uh, we just got a couple minutes left before it's going to be time uh, for the step ladder finals to kick off. So uh, for the folks who are watching our pregame show here on Facebook and YouTube, you've got just a couple minutes to head over to BoldTV.com because at the conclusion of uh, this next minute or two, uh, BoldTV.com will be the only place to watch the action to see which one of these young upcoming stars on tour is going to take home their very first regional title. Uh and with that, we also have a giveaway that's going to be coming up during this uh, this final match. So sitting right next to me here. Oh, I love giveaways. What is it? We got a signed bowling pin from the ITRC by the two finalists at the Hall of Fame Classic earlier this year. So a signed wow. bowling pin by Julia Bond and Lindsay Boomshine uh, so that we're going to be giving away. That's going to look great on one lucky Bowl TV viewer's mantle uh, back at home. So look forward to that. We're going to have that here. Uh, I'll hand deliver it uh, to, to the shipping office when we're said and done here. But uh, we look forward to giving that away. So BoldTV.com, the place to be to check it out. All right, folks, we're uh, it's about that time. I was told it's going to be about an 8.05 local time start. Uh, it's 8.04, so our pregame show is going to come to an end. When we come back, Shannon and I are going to be bringing you the action from the Step Letter Finals at the PWBA DFW Regional. Uh, so we're excited to see this come together. Great matches coming ahead. Uh, so we hope to see you over on Bowl TV. So folks, hang tight. And when we bet, when we come back, it'll be time for the Step Ladder Finals.